Welcome to another edition of The Word on Woodward. I'm your host, Daniela Bruce, alongside my co-host, Art Regner, and joining us today, a very special guest from East Lansing, Michigan, Michigan State Spartans head coach for men's hockey, Danton Cole. Danton, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We're really excited to talk some college hockey with you. Yeah, thanks Thanks for having me on, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, it's been it was nice being down there with you guys the other uh, the other day and and uh, getting ready for the duel in the D. That's right. It has been such a fun atmosphere at Little Caesars Arena for Red Wings games, and I expect nothing less for Duel in the D, which is Saturday on February 12th, where your Michigan State Spartans will be taking on the Michigan Wolverines. Such a great rivalry. Just talk about the experience of playing against Michigan in an NHL rink like Little Caesars Arena. Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, there's, you know, there is so much history to it, and it goes, it goes, you know, so far back. And it's, it's not just hockey; it's all the sports. And you know, very rarely do you have two Division One teams. You know, what are we, 45, 50 miles apart? And uh, you know, especially in the Big Ten. So, you know, that's it. And then you throw another layer onto it that we're, you know, playing down at Little Caesars Arena, which is, is fantastic. And uh, like you said, the uh, the atmosphere there has been been unbelievable. And for the fans, it's great. Um, and and like I said, it adds another whole other layer to the the excitement of the game for the for the players and staffs. Can you explain the rivalry? You've coached in it. Obviously, you've played in it. Uh, the intensity when green and white and maize and blue get together is almost unparalleled in the entire country. Can you describe it in words? Yeah, no, you, I don't think you can. And, and that's that's the hard part maybe with some of the young guys is, you know, they kind of have to go through it. But, you know, one thing they have had is, you know what, they, they've gone through a football game in the fall and that, that was a heck of a football game. And, um, you know, basketball, we had we had one canceled, uh, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago. But last Saturday, you know, we had Michigan, Michigan State basketball. So, you know what, I think they've gotten a little flavor there. The guys were able to go to the game the other day and, and, and check it out. And, you know, you hope that the older guys do a good job of explaining it to them. And I, you know, I look back when when I was playing and uh, you know we we had we had a good run there and our you know our record over the four years was 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 pretty good but um I do and we didn't lose a lot of games in, in the years I was here but I do remember one time losing uh, uh here at home to Michigan and not playing very well and um I always talk about it and Donnie McSween was our captain and um he was pretty emotional afterwards and and uh, it was probably the most emotional I'd seen him in, in the couple years we played together and and been a good friend with him since so um you know it, it does mean a lot and it has to mean a little more than than just just that game or where you're at in the standings or what it is and uh you know hopefully the guys look at it that way but it but it's a healthy thing uh it's great to go through and uh it, it's been i think really good for college hockey it, it, it's a great rivalry. I'm a Spartan. I'm going to put it out there right now. Obviously, my biases lean towards Michigan State. Art's a Wolverine. And the rivalry for us and the fun we have just talking about Michigan and Michigan State and all sports is so much fun. So the fans are definitely into it, too. What can Spartan fans expect from this Michigan State hockey team if they haven't really been able to keep up with them all season? Yeah, it's uh, you know what we we were uh, we were in a good spot a couple of weeks ago, and I, and I thought our team was playing pretty well. And um, you know we uh, we've got a few injuries, and, and we went through a little bit of sickness. So you know what we we took a little bit of a step back, but I think I think we'll be healthy by then, and we should have our guys going. And and really where we're at is where we're kind of in that building phase of of trying to get over the hump. And um, but our guys work hard. Uh, they're they're exciting. They're a pretty exciting team to watch. We got some good young players. We got some vets. Um, um, you know, Mitch Lewandowski is, is uh, you know, points per game. He has, he's one of the guys that's been out that we've missed, but, you know, one of the leading scorers in points per game in the country. Drew DeRitter is one of the best goalies. He's a Hobie Baker candidate. And uh, like I said, our guys, they play hard. They're, they're figuring out how to win hockey games, and uh, it should be an exciting game. Uh, goaltending in Michigan State. I'm not sure if there's a program in the United States that has had the number of high-end quality goaltenders as the Spartans. Year in and year out, goaltending seems to be the strength of the team. Can you talk about uh, Drew DeRitter and what he means to this club? And you're right, Dan. I mean, Lewandowski going down, only playing 14 games this year. I mean, it's it's tough. And uh, I, I'm just kind of curious. Without, without Drew, the Spartans, where would they be at? 
Well, you know what? Um, you know, fortunately, hey, Pierce Charleston, we we have him, and he he's played some good minutes for us. He finished strong last year as a freshman, and uh, uh, he he and Drew were battling it out for ice time early on, and Drew really kind of took that over. But uh, you know, there's a chance that uh, you know that weekend we'll see both goalies. But but you're right, the uh, you know Drew Drew's importance on the team, and uh, you know we all have that bumper sticker on our car: good goalies make good coaches, and it gives you a chance to win. You know, every night you go out there, so so we we rely on him. You know, we try not we try and get him a couple goals, so <laughs> it's not too much pressure on him. But uh, but he's been great for us, and, and he's a great Spartan. Um, but yeah, looking at the history of the program, and you know, this year Ron Scott got into our Hall of Fame, and really that's he kind of he kind of bridged the gap between uh, Coach Bassoni and, and Coach Mason, and he came in here and um, and really kind of turned some things around. And that's when when we got onto a pretty good run there with Coach Mason, and then. You know, Bobby Asenza and Norm Foster came in and Jason Mazzotti and then, you know, then you have Ryan Miller and Lurg and, you know, it, it just it kind of keeps going on and on. And, you know, you know, even to the, the point of, you know, John Lethman was was real good for us uh, our first couple of years here. And now Drew's kind of taking that mail. So it is a it is a good school for for goalies. And, and for whatever reason, it seems like we attract them. And, and but I'd also give a little credit to the development. I mean, Sean Walsh did the goalies way back when and was was great with them. And then uh, uh, Joe Extra is with us now and, and he's the best in the business and, and just spends a lot of time working on their craft and, and building them up. He's got a good plan for guys coming in. So um, there's there's a little work behind it, but but at the end of the day, it's it, we've got really we've had really good young men come in that, that have worked hard and uh, they're just good goalies. Dan, there's no lack of Spartan blood that has run through the Red Wings organization and currently in the Red Wings organization, too. Obviously, you mentioned Ryan Miller. Drew Miller was a Michigan State Spartan as well. Justin Ablicator, a Spartan. And Taro Hirose, currently playing in Grand Rapids, has dabbled in some NHL hockey as well. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you to see the presence that um, former Spartans are having on the NHL right now? Well, you know, it's it, it's a point of... It, point of pride obviously and and any, anybody that you know has is, is been affiliated here you know we we all kind of take them on as our own so if uh you know I, I've known Tori Krug a long time but but I love watching Tori play and and you know and and you see Mackenzie McEachern win his Stanley Cup with St. Louis a couple years so hey those, those are our guys and and uh, it's 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 a brotherhood here and and whether I've coached them or not but but it is, it's a little more special when it's guys that you've coached and uh um, I always count uh, Chris Draper as an honorary Spartan because he lived with Deb and I in Winnipeg for for a little bit. So uh, I know I know he didn't play college hockey, but I'm I'm gonna count him because uh, he's a good man. But uh, you I know like what? It, it is. I like that. Yeah, it, is, it is fun. We and, always uh, like to add Spartans. Right, and and you know, with the U.S. team, I had a lot of guys that went through and played pro hockey, and I had you know even going back to Cam Talbot with UAH, who's who's playing the NHL. So uh, it's nice turning out. You know, the other day I think there was six six seven guys in the Blackhawks Red Wings game that I was at that that had played for me at one time or another. And you know, it's fun going to games and and, and watching them on TV and seeing what they're doing. And um, you know, they're living their dream, and it's nice that uh, hey, you get to be a small part of it. Mon Ice Arena is going through this massive renovation, which is going to be done this year. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a, you know, it's an outstanding project. It's about, it'll end up being about $26 million and about 38,000 square feet. Um, the fan experience portion of it, we've done a lot of work in Mon in terms of new, new, new ice and, and, and glass and boards and change of seating and, and uh, suites. And, but this part will be mainly, uh, it'll be the student athlete driven. So it'll be our whole area from the weight room, video room, offices, um, you know, hydro area, out the locker room, the whole area for the for the players. And it's it's going to be a truly outstanding uh, setup for our guys. And, and um, you know, have wanted to make this a, a training center for guys that uh, want to go on and play pro hockey. You know, hey, get your degree, go play pro hockey. It'd be a great thing. Um, but there will be a, a Hall of Honor, and, and we'll be naming that after Coach Mason in, in the middle. And, and that'll be a, a really nice area for the fans coming. It'll be the main entrance. Um, though there's a lot of history of, you know, our, our Hobie Baker winners and national championships teams you know coach Bassoni, coach mason coach Conley, nice little tribute to guys that have won national championships here so it'll be it'll be a really nice area uh it's about 90 percent done and uh, i know the guys were in the weight room already um, but the guys are really looking forward to moving it over and uh, it's just you know for msu it's a you know a transformational thing and we needed to get this done and uh, uh took a lot of fundraising but a lot of great spartans came together and got it done for us for fans that I, I know we asked about the Spartans specifically, but for fans that don't really follow college hockey and are actually getting a chance to see Michigan and Michigan State that don't always get to East Lansing or Ann Arbor, what can they expect to see 
in this matchup? What kind of intensity? What's the hockey like? Yeah, you know, I, I think that's one thing that the, the beautiful part about college hockey is that, you know what, we, we, we train a lot and, and our games are, you know, Big Ten games, Friday and Saturday nights, and, and really every game ends up being like a playoff game. I mean, they're emotional, they're physical, um, they're fast games, and, and people that come to them, you know, that hadn't seen college hockey before are really, uh, um, you know, taken with it, and, and most of them will come back and watch games. And the other thing is people are slowly figuring out is that, you know, hey, a third of the NHL are guys that have played college hockey. I mean, it's a good brand of hockey. It's tough to get through. If you do well in the Big Ten, you have a really good chance of playing hockey and uh, and getting paid for it. And you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully in the NHL. But I think that's they'll see a they'll see a fast, physical game. There'll be a lot of talent on the ice. There'll be a lot of emotions. And hey, that that's what hockey is. That's why it's the greatest sport in the world. When you go through a year like this, where November and December looks like the team is starting to make a stride injuries, everything starts to hit. How difficult is it for you as a coach, because they're young men, they're still developing not only on the ice, but off the ice, to let them know, hey, you know, we hit a, a speed bump, shall we say, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, no, that's, you know, and that's, um, that's the art of the deal. And I think that's, for me, at least coaching wise, that's, that's probably the most important thing is, is the lessons that, that the guys are going to come out and, you know, whether, Hey, you can learn a lot, you know, depend, doesn't really matter on the outcome of the game, but we, you know, we, we talked to this about this a lot with the U S team and I've kind of tried to keep it going here. And we, we look at it as a character based leadership program. And and I want my guys leaving here. I want them to get their degree, be, be they're going to be better hockey players. That that's a given, but I want them to be leaders. And I, you know, when they go out in the world, whether they're doctors, lawyers, teachers, whatever they're doing and, you know, you know, God willing to get enough talent, and enough hard work, they get to play hockey. Um, you know what? I want those guys to be leaders, and and uh, that that's something that that I can make a difference in. And if if I pass some of that through the guys, so you know what? Hey, it's a little bump in the road. Uh, there there's a lot worse things guys will go through, and and usually uh, if if you tackle it the right way and, and you have the right mental uh, approach to it, you can get through it, and and you'll be better for it. And we'll win some games. Um, you know, rest of this year, we'll win some games next year. And when we win a national title, it'll be because of the things that we've gone through and, and done together. And, and uh, that, that's the way I look at it. And that's the way we, uh, we preach it in the room. Well, I can't well, wait because when you, you win so that much. national title, I walk into that Spartan <laughs> Hall with Rick Conley and Ron Mason and all the great coaches that have won national championships. And I can turn to the people I'm with and say, Danton Cole, I know that guy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Maybe, maybe if you're nice, I'll take a picture with you. Oh, right, great, oh. great. Oh, I'll hunt you down. Trust me. You'll be able to hear me. I'll be screaming. Dan, where are you? <laughs> yeah, Dan, right. at that point, you'll want to take the picture just to get him off your back. You'll be like, okay, okay, fine. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And we are all really excited for Duel in the D, which is taking place Saturday. February 12th at 7 p.m., the Michigan State Spartans and Michigan Wolverines at Little Caesars Arena. You can still get your tickets at 313presents.com. Again, Danton, thank you. It's been a pleasure talking to you. All Just right. A Thanks a lot. Go green. Go white. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs>